Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning, episode 314. Talking about Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions today. It seems that they will be parting ways come this next season. But first, question of the day, who is the Detroit Lions franchise receiving yards leader? Again, stick around for the answer at the end of the video. But Jay, uh, Detroit Lions all-time touchdown leader in Matthew Stafford with 282, I believe. Uh, all-time yards leader passing at 41,000 and something. Matthew Stafford, been the quarterback there for who knows how long. He's finally parting ways. What does this mean for him, and where do you think he'll end up? Yeah, and just a couple of side notes. If you don't know the question of the day, I'm not sure how much of a Lions fan or NFL fan in general you are. And also, for this trade, it is a mutual agreement. Both the Lions and Matthew Stafford want to separate. It's not just one or the other moving on from the other. But looking at who really needs Matthew Stafford is pretty much the entire NFL outside of like six, seven, eight teams. You know, between your Mahomes, your Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, Josh Allen, your Lamar Jackson. You know, there's only about seven, eight, nine guys that are locked in on NFL franchise quarterbacks. And the rest, I think, the NFL team will welcome Matthew Stafford. The dude, yes, he's in his 30s, but he's 32. He's very young. We've seen quarterbacks can go to 43 now so who's to say Matthew Stafford doesn't have another decade in him so I think a lot of teams will be attracted to Matthew Stafford for their team <clears throat> some ideal teams that pop into my head right away are kind of some of the similar teams that we saw Deshaun Watson possibly pursuing whether it be the 49ers a lot of people say the Chicago Bears I kind of want to disqualify the Chicago Bears because I highly doubt the Detroit Lions will trade within their division Bears being in their division and then, so Bears not being there, I like the Niners. I think the Colts are just a quarterback away. A lot of people agree that the defense is locked in. The um, backfield is locked in with Jonathan Taylor, Naheem Hines. Receiving core could use an extra guy. We could pick that up in the fir third, fourth, fifth, second, first round dr in the draft. Matthew Stafford is one quarterback away to making the Colts Super Bowl team. Same with the 49ers. Yes, you got Jimmy Garoppolo, but imagine if you took a step, step ahead and got an even better quarterback. You can go from appearing in a Super Bowl to winning a Super Bowl. A couple other teams, maybe the Rams, <clears throat> don't think that's really realistic, but who knows, they might be looking to move off of Jared Goff's contract and upgrade their quarterback position a little bit. Maybe the Dolphins, if they're not invested in Tua. A lot of people also say the Washington football team because while I like Alex Smith, great comeback story, I'm not, gonna, not sure how much Ron Rivera and the Washington football team are sold on him investing in him for their future along with maybe the Patriots Bill Belichick trying to get something rolling again and the Carolina Panthers if they're moving on from Teddy Bridgewater a lot of possibilities of course and my perfect situation would either be between the Indianapolis Colts or the 49ers I just want to see Matthew Stafford go to a team that is ready to win and all they need is a quarterback I feel like his entire career it's almost I don't want to say been wasted completely but his talent definitely hasn't been executed we've seen the Lions do this time and time again between Barry Sanders between Matthew Stafford between Calvin Johnson they just ruin star players careers not to say Matthew Stafford's on the same par as Barry Sanders and Johnson but I do think this dude has special talent and just needs to be used the right way and he can win a Super Bowl and at the very minimum make the playoff run yeah I've never been a Lions fan but they got the longest drought of a playoff of a playoff lack of a playoff win of any active team right now, and it's just the situation in Detroit has never been sought after. No one has ever yeah. really been envious of what's going on in Detroit. So to see Matthew Stafford, a guy that went first overall, I believe, in the 09 draft, um, <clears throat> have to deal with that, kind of be then burdened by his own team his entire career. Um, it's just tough to see, even for a guy that's not a Lions fan by any means, and myself. So I, I really want to see, like Jay said, him get into a situation where he can go straight onto a new team and start winning football games. He's already in the last quarter of his career, I guess. Maybe he can play till 38. So last yeah. half of his career for sure. Uh, but he's still got several good years in him. So I think <clears throat> the one key place that I like would like to see him go is Indianapolis. Um, I think that's a perfect fit for him. They're moving on from Phillip, who has already announced his retirement. The backfield is set. The receivers are there but could use some more. The defense is top 10 in the league. Um, so Matthew Stafford in Indianapolis would fit very, very well. Uh, of course, Shanahan in San Francisco um, is a great spot for him, but I think that is a place that they should try to get Deshaun Watson to, which is a whole other conversation. So I think, and then you name some other teams, uh, like Carolina, like you, you named San Francisco and yeah. Indianapolis. Dolphins, yes, I like the Dolphins, the Dolphins, the Dolphins, the Patriots, yes, Washington pending a Taylor Heineke starting job. I don't know how that's going to be. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other teams. Rams, I guess. Maybe. Rams, maybe Atlanta. I don't know if that's Saints, really realistic. Saints, Steelers, I don't know. I, don't, I doubt the they Steelers move on from Big just, Ben, and the Saints have a cap situation. Yeah. Um, so there's plenty of spots. You made a great point earlier. Any team that need that, any team that does not have a franchise quarterback solidified yeah. would absolutely love Matthew Stafford. The guy's shown talent, uh, perseverance. I mean, all these 
all these years of him being on Detroit, he's put up good numbers, just never got anything to show for it. Um, I think of that play where – I think they were playing Cleveland where he, like, dislocated his shoulder. Yeah. And then he called himself Early back in his the career. Field. Three, yeah, it was probably eight years ago. Then threw the touchdown pass with a dislocated arm, whatever. Matt, Matt Stafford is a baller. Uh, Matt Stafford is. So, you know, I just hope to, I hope to see him get success. He deserves it. Yeah, big question is also, I don't really know if I had to put a number on it. What is Matthew Stafford's value? Like, if you were another NFL team, what yeah. would you give up for Matthew Stafford? To me, the Colts is probably, as much as they're my ideal situation, I want to say they have the less to the least amount to offer if you look at a team like the Niners Dolphins or Panthers they all have a starting quarterback in the NFL that they could get to the Lions so the Lions have some piece to start with whether it be Teddy Bridgewater from the Panthers two from the Dolphins or Jimmy Garoppolo from the Niners those guys have proven to be able to win games they might not be superstar talents but they are a franchise quarterback you can at least start with as so they're not at least going to their second string guy on the Lions roster the Colts Yes, they have draft picks, but I don't know how valuable Matt Stafford is right now. Is he first round anymore? I mean, he does. He is 32, so he does have back half his career. If you're a win now situation, I think he's a first rounder. But if you're a team that you're like maybe the Jets, if they don't, the Deshaun thing doesn't work out. If you're just looking for Stafford and got to build around him, not sure it's worth to give up a first round if it's going to be a while before Matthew Stafford's situation pans out for you. Yeah, and I'm not sure if I don't know how much power Stafford would have in the say, but he's not going to want to go somewhere that requires. Yeah two, three years of, of building because then that leaves him with only two to three years to do something with it. Yeah. So Matthew Stafford is going to likely end up, I think, in Indianapolis. I'd love to see it. Uh, and you make you bring up a good point about New Orleans. The cap space issue, yes, but are they going to want Jace, uh, Jason Taysom or Jameis starting? Yeah, I'm I don't not know. sure. Uh, would Matthew Stafford t- take that team and put him right back in the NFC Championship situation? I think, yes, yeah. that's very likely. But i got to say, um, if he goes to the Colts, that AFC is getting really tough. We saw yeah. this year the Dolphins <laughs> fell out at 10-6. and six got to figure those same seven teams are probably going to be just as good between the Chiefs, Bills, Ravens, um, Steelers, Browns, whoever was else was in, uh, Colts. And then you got to add the Dolphins. They're 10-6. and six. Colts are going to be back again. Chargers are emerging. Raiders might figure something out. The AFC is going to be very tough very soon. Absolutely. All right, again, Matthew Stafford on the move, parting with the Detroit Lions. That's all for the video. Uh, question of the day. Your answer is, of course, Calvin Johnson, Megatron, uh, all-time passing yards, sorry, receiving yards leader for the Detroit Lions. Thanks for watching, guys. Two minutes.